ladies and gentlemen, here is your host and the start of our show, the serendacious Mr. Chuck Berry. Well, I, I didn't get good. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it finished. Okay, now when this performer gets, <laughs> when this what? Yes. <laughs> well, I was up there trying to do it, and you guys are dancing all over the place. Now, when this performer gets bored, she told us she likes to shoot nuts out of her navel. Well, when we heard that, we knew she had to be our kind of people. So we booked her here on here. She is. Oh, this is Cheryl. I hope you're not too sad. No, I don't care. That's what you were doing. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being on us. Well, thank you anyway. I was going to ask Jay, but it's just as well. There goes Cheryl. We'll be back with more Don Show right after this message. Yeah. Keeper's teacher in school suggested the Hooked on Phonics program for him. Hooked on Phonics really took him to the... In welcoming a man whose philosophy of life is simple. With laughter, you can conquer the world. And he feels that America should scrap their nuclear warhead and begin stockpiling whoopee cushions. Mr. Artie Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. It's fun being here. I'd rather be here than on maneuvers in Louisiana. Yes. Thank you. All right. Now, this next lady leads a wild life. So wild, in fact, that a person must prove that he's over 18 just to see the slides of her vacation. <laughs> you guessed it. It's J.P. Morgone. All right, now, I predict that this next guest will someday be a huge movie star. And when he gets there, I know he's the kind of guy who's going to look back and say, Chuck who? Uh, my friend, Jamie Farr. They're cut up. I just found my tie. All right, and now, let's meet our next act. I really love this next act. I mean, he's a fire eater. And I've always admired any individual, any talented individual, yeah. talented enough to flick his own bick. Ladies and gentlemen, from Casper, Wyoming, the great Phillips.
I don't know how you do that, the great Phillips. Can I call you great? How do you know? All right, Artie, how, what do you think of the great Phillips? Now I know where the term cold shoulder and hot tongue come from. <laughs> I, uh, an eight. eight. He's an eight. An eight. All right. Jay, what do you think of the great Phillips? Just the whole front of his mouth is all burned, and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. Jamie Farr. You eat the Mandarin Sichuan food, that hot Chinese food. All right, a seven from Jamie, and that gives you 22 points. Great. And I think you were great, great. Let's have a hand for all great. Thank you, great. Bye-bye. I don't know. Oh, we're going to... I don't know how he does that and still work out the way he does. Anyway, we'll be back right after this message. Oh, man, I'm going to get you. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's not me, Loaf. Back. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Johnny Jacobs. We're, listen, we're going to be coming to uh, Belfort, Maine one of these days. I think so. Anybody has any acts in Belfort? Just uh, get them together. We may be up there soon. All right, now, welcome now a clerk who told us she sings a little. And that's good because a little is all we're prepared to sit through. Let's really hear it for... <laughs> Okarita! Cute. I just don't know why they did that. The audience was screaming for you and cheering for you. <laughs> Jay, why did you do that to Oka Rito? CV told me to do it. I see. Well, see, CV is tone deaf, so don't you be the least bit dismayed. Thank you for being with us. We'll be back for more stuff right after this message. Hey, it's me, Steve Saunders, and I got a few... Get Electronic Wheel of Fortune with thousands of new puzzles and expansion cartridges, but please, act your age. Gong Show! All right. <laughs> okay, now, if you think that's a hard act to follow, as if anybody thought that, let me tell you what's happening this Sunday night. Ah, here on NBC, it's a party. A four-and-a-half-hour spectacular that would make Barnum and Bailey green with envy. NBC's 50th anniversary, and you can see it all... A half century of broadcasting history this Sunday night, November 24th, 1st, NBC. Oh, don't let me flub now. NBC's first 50 years. All right, now, talk. Yeah, talk. Next up. All right. All right, next up, we have a gentleman with a very unusual vocation. He's a mortuary student. Yeah, it must be weird going to school where you know your class project is going to be scattered over the Pacific. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Larry, you have the thickest thumbs. <laughs> oh, well, here is... Oh, he is good. I think it's my fave magic act, Don and Company. Thank you, Chuck. Today I'd like to show you a little effect that you two can go home and do yourself if you'll watch carefully. Because all you need is three handkerchiefs, three different colors, take the first two and tie them together in a good secure knot. Now this is not a bad trick if it works and it's not too shabby even if it doesn't work. Make sure the knot is good and tight, then you place it in a safe keeping place. I know it'll be safe there. Then you take the other one, now watch this, this is the whole secret. 
Make this into a very, very small ball, as small as possible. Then you take a bag. Any bag will do, not your wife, just a bag. Now, here's the whole secret. Place it inside the bag, and each time you do, it disappears without trace. I'm not kidding you. It's gone. Underneath my arm, it's been broke for a week. I can't lift it any higher than that. Now, you're not watching very carefully. Inside the bag, one more time we'll do it, then we'll show you how it's done. Now, watch carefully. We're going to go inside the bag one more. Every time you do, it's gone without a trace. As you see, it's gone. Here, it's gone there, but don't worry. We'll bring it back in between the other two we just tied together. If you'll watch carefully on the count of three. You ready for this? One. Two. Three. Good, Don and Company. Very nice. J.P. Morgan, what do you think of Don and Company? Oh, boy, Don, you really got to me that time. I, All right. Just the, just the length of your pants alone did it for me. <laughs> That's an eight. All right, Jamie Farr. Any man who wears cowboy boots with a tuxedo deserves an eight. <laughs> Artie Johnson. Any guy that can tie them together deserves an eight. <laughs> All right, and that gives you a total of 24 points, Don, and thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Very nice. All right, now, if you're seeing this act for the first time, you should be in for a complete surprise. If you're seeing this act for the second time, you should be in for a complete mental checkup. Now, here it comes. Oh, I O M B West. That's really good. That's M.B. West. You're a little that. stuff. Jamie Farr, well, what do you think of him? I gave four for him and four for her. All right. <laughs> Eighty. Eighty. <laughs> there goes your little dress. Artie Johnson. I just, I, that was what I was going to say. I, uh, I, uh, uh, why don't you wait, step on those doorbells? Uh, <laughs> an eight. I give him an eight. An eight. All right, J.P. Morgan. I love anybody whose tongue matches his outfit. Right, <laughs> a seven. And that gives you a total of 23, and I think that's good. MB, here, here are your things. Whatever they are. Yeah, and, and, uh... well, all right, I mean... Okay, this next performer says... <laughs> this next performer says that she's been performing since the age of three but it's still going nowhere. Well, thank goodness for the gong show. Now she has to play that. Now she has a place to go nowhere. Coast to coast, here comes Joanna Mulrooney. Now, wait a minute, oh, wait. okay, gang. All right, settle down. Now, we have the best band, we have the best celebrities, and the best acts. If they good a host, they'd have the best show. Now, let's try that again. All right. Instead of Joanna Mulrooney, I want to present Sigrid. Oh, 
When skies are cloudy and gray, they're only gray for a day. So wrap your troubles in dreams. Dream your troubles away. Just remember that sunshine. Life's really funny that way. No use to grumble. Kingdoms may fall. Or you could be king for a day. Hey, hey, hey. Just remember that sunshine. Always follow the rain. And wrap your troubles in dreams. Dream your troubles away. Come on over here. Oh, that is Sigrid. I'm sorry. Now, what do you think of Sigrid, Artie Johnson? I, I like, I like professionals. I like her. She's good. All right. Ten. Ten. J.P. Morgan. I won't go on. Nine. <laughs> and a good old Jamie Farr. She's a, a trooper. trooper. I'll give her a ten. A ten. Sigrid, you have 29 points, and that is a splendid score. Thank you for being on the show. We'll be back with more stuff right after this message. Yeah. When I feel fresh, I can embrace. I can share. We'll be on next week. I love this little girl. Anyway, it's time for our winner. It's time for our winner. And tonight, today, this afternoon, whatever time it is, it's 29 points and Sigrid! <laughs> And a check for $516.32. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Milton. Oh, there you are. Thank you, Jamie Farr, J.P. Morgan, and Artie Johnson for being with us. And this is me saying bye-bye. Yeah.